talk about the sustainability of these vlogs. Yesterday marked vlog like one five. It was the 15th vlog of the daily vlog series. Put that into perspective, every year I did about 30 vlogs. So 30 vlogs in 12 months and I just did 15 in 15 days. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> been hard there's this balance between like quality of vlog you want to make versus just getting it done because it takes time and if time is our most precious resource I film all day of whatever's going on and then I edit for about I'm gonna say on average six hours there's that like perfectionist in me that doesn't want to put it out into the world <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever seen, but those the guys who made South Park, they make an episode of South Park in seven days, and they have the same problem. They did it before, they would overthink it and change it and tweak it until it was like something they didn't really recognize anymore and they just hated it. But when there was a deadline, it forced them just to put it on the air. I deal with that every single day. I have this idea in my head, and the vlog never, ever matches that. <laughs> With every like art form, I, I've, there's like there's a point where everyone always talks about trying to find their voice. From the original pole vault vlogs, my voice was I'm just gonna I'm gonna film my training and, and share and hopefully connect with people that way. There was that connection there. I didn't even know why it was working. Now doing these all over again, it's almost like I just threw away all that and started over, which is super scary and exciting. <laughs> I'm still kind of struggling to find my voice, what I want these to mean. I want, I want to help people. I want to show them that there's a lot going on that they're just unaware of, and that by bringing awareness to your life, life becomes much more colorful. It's you, By the way, my mom sent me this picture the other day. Now, I could be really mad, which Carrie was. <laughs> Deer's goal is to get food and survive. So, a deer's just being a deer. I can't really be mad at a deer for that. If I was a deer and I was hungry and there was a whole big square full of food, I'd probably eat it too. So enjoy our garden. But next year I will put up a better fence and see if you can get in there that way. So 15 days in and I've experienced a lot and there's been a lot of new adventures and a lot of people I've met. And these videos hold me accountable. They push me out to go experience things. Um, I knew it was gonna be hard and it was super scary and it's still <laughs> really, scary and I get really tired. So I'm trying to find a way to be a little more self-sufficient. I'm sitting here and I want to continue to do daily vlogs after this month is over, but how can I sustain it without losing my mind? <laughs> that's, kind of, that's kind of the problem. I don't really know what I'm trying to get at, is, but I want to just say thank you. Thank you for watching so far. We're halfway through this month journey. I played with the idea of starting a whole new channel, but I figured the people who are consistently watching these videos, even with when it was Pole Vault, hopefully, hopefully you're on a journey with me versus just watching some guy do Pole Vault. That was the reason why I stuck with one channel. Thank you. Here's to 15 more, and then we'll see where we're at. <laughs> yeah, life's meant to be experienced. Curiosity will get you there. <laughs>